With 4 million sounds, what will you create? Take the free trial today. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the WMD Virtual Superbooth Experience. My name is Alex, and today I'm here to show you our new module, Scalpel. So this is something we are announcing this year, right now, for the first time ever. It is a stereo digital EQ slash morphing filter in 4HP. So let's check it out. So right here I've got my scalpel and I've got the uh, PDO and triple bipolar VCA running through it. I've just got a mono output split into two. So it's going into both, uh, both inputs here. And then we're listening to the stereo out. So I've got a sequence roll in right now coming from the Expert Sleepers FH1 being driven by the Novation Launchpad Pro Mark III here. So this is, this is the sound that we're working with running through Scalpel. You can bypass with this switch, obviously. And then we're just gonna run through the bands and create some filters. So right now we're on the low band, so I'm just, you can um, sweep the frequency and you can shape the curve. The lowest band is a low shelf, so all together you have a low shelf, three mid bands, and then a high shelf. So let's, okay, I like that one. Let's move to the next band. We're gonna go to the low mid band here. So you can really grab frequencies here. And then you can pull them out if you want or emphasize them. So I'm gonna emphasize this low mid here. We're gonna go to the next band. This LED bar shows you what you're doing. So in the middle, you can see the entire spectrum is lit up. Right now, that's our cue that we're taking out. Or when I boost it, the frequencies around it kind of disappear to show you exactly what you're doing. Okay, so I like that one. I'm gonna to go to the next band. All right, now let's go to the high shelf here. All right, cool. So I like this filter, I wanna save it. All I have to do is press this morph preset button and now these become your nine preset slots. So we're just gonna save this one to one by pressing the top button while we're holding the morph. Now let's make another filter. So I'm gonna go back to the low band here, give it its lows back and then create something kind of raunchy. Go to the next one. All right, cool, I like that one. Let's save that to preset two here. So now I'm gonna go make another filter. So this one, I'm gonna take out the lows. I'm gonna pipe go up to everything and I'm gonna take out the highs too. All right, cool, I like that one. Let's save that to slot number three here. Let's make another one. Let's give this one its lows back. And then take away the resonance here. And then let's just take that high frequency all the way out. Cool. So I like that one. Let's save that. Let's save that one to slot four here. And then let's do one more. So this one, I'm gonna do the exact opposite again. I'm gonna take out the lows here. And then I'm gonna go all the way up and give it a ties back. We'll have it emphasize the highs here. Okay, cool. So now I like this one. I'm gonna save that to slot five. So you have a total of nine presets you can do. I just did five real quick just to show you guys how this works. Now we can go into morph mode just by tapping the morph button. And we can select the preset with the bottom button here. We can morph through those. So you ju we just created five different filters that we're now morphing between. So not only is this a really cool a module just for mixing and helping out with um, EQing, you can actually create a pretty cool filtering effect. All right, so the whole time we've been doing this, we've been editing both sides at once. So we've been doing A and B at the same time. With this switch, you can edit either A or B independently and create more of a true stereo or dual mono effect. 
So just for the demo, um, like I said earlier, I've got a mono out just being split to both inputs here. And um, we'll, we'll affect both of those separately. So let's play our sequence again. I'm going to go to a different, I'm going to load a preset just by holding morph, going to the preset, moving through here. Let's use this one, because this one's pretty um, apparent, right? So I'm going to go through, and I'm just going to take the left side, and I just say I want to take its lows out. So I'm going to go to the low band and take its, take its lows out. Now I'm going to go to the right side, and I'm going to make sure that it's got all of its lows, maybe even boost them a little bit. Now let's go to a different band here and give it some, some uh, gnarliness on the right side only. All right, that sounds pretty cool. There we go. So you can create a stereo effect and then go through these presets again and morph through them. Right now we're only morphing through one side. If we go to B, we're gonna be morphing through all together. If we go to A, we're only gonna be morphing through one again. You can also use CV to morph both sides independently instead of the knob. All right, so that's my super quick demo of Scalpel. We'll be putting out lots more uh, content on this over the next couple weeks. But thank you guys for watching. Have a great weekend. And um, thanks again, Sonic State and Superbooth, for having us. We're WMD. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.